So here we go. It's week 12 and 13 is what we're going over on this one. Um, so essentially, last week I actually did really well. 13 and 3. I didn't even realize it because I think the first few games that I actually looked at were all the ones I got wrong. And uh, But 13 and 3 is my best week picking-wise. And honestly, if it wasn't for a one-point upset by the Jaguars and you know, these two games, the Browns and Bucks and the Bengals and Titans could have gone either way, realistically. I could have had, you know, a pretty decent, uh, I mean, 14-15 win, or 14-15 correct, honestly, but I went 13-15. Uh, the Steelers picked up a Monday night football win against the Colts. Uh, they just played. They just got it done. The Colts didn't, down the stretch, there were probably some questionable uh, moments Jeff Saturday had in the game. Uh, but at least the Steelers were able to pull it out. And I think they uh, continue this one-game win streak when they play the Falcons. I just I think Atlanta had a time in, earlier in the year they made a run. But uh, I don't know exactly how long that's going to be able to go. I think that the Steelers are good enough to win. Uh, the Ravens, like I said, close upset game against Jacksonville. Uh, shock of the, I think one of the shocks of the week, even though it's a one point game. Um, it was in Jacksonville, so I guess there's some factors playing into that. But, and obviously, I think the Ravens are gonna beat the Broncos. I think this is a. They should they it's crucial against the Jags because the Bengals ended up winning and now they're tied for the division. Uh, they got the win. The Ravens have the win over the Bengals earlier in the year. It'll be interesting to see how, what happens the second time they play each other. But um, I think I think the Ravens should win. Should, the Broncos are terrible, so they should win. Bengals uh, won the game at Tennessee last week, and what I thought was a close could have been could have gone either way. Uh, I don't think they're going to beat the Chiefs this year. I know they beat them twice last year around this time, and then in the AFC Championship game they beat them. Uh, but I think Kansas City just has it. Like, maybe not as near, nearly explosive offensively as they were last year and years past. But I just, I think it's going to be a close game. But um, it just looks like, momentum-wise, you could argue that um, Cincinnati has the momentum in a way. Even though the Chiefs are on literally like a, I mean, what is this, a six-game win or five-game winning streak? They've won seven out of the last eight. So, I mean, could they lose? Yeah, but I think they beat the Bengals. Or I think the Bengals lose to them. Uh, the Browns. This is a crucial week for the Browns because this is the first week they'll see Deshaun Watson. And, of course, they're playing the Texans. I mean, who who would have thought he'd play the former team the week he comes back? And I think... I think Deshaun Watson, I think they're going to lose to the Texans. So that's typically how these things go, is the former team ends up winning. Um, you would think, you. I mean, you think like on other people who went back and played against their former teams, beating them, but this, is, this was different. And so I think the Texans are going to end up pulling this one out. And the Browns have really not been that great this year anyway, even though they beat the Bucks, who also haven't been great. Um, like I said, the Chiefs won last week against the Rams. I think they're going to beat the Bengals, and they sh I mean, the Chiefs in theory should go get about thirteen wins minimum. So this will probably be another one. The Chargers. Um, I think they beat the Raiders, but it's like I don't know. I mean, they beat the Cardinals in a one point win last week, and I I mean, I just don't know if the Raiders have it. I know they just beat Seattle. Josh Jacobs went off, but I think the Chargers probably win that game. Um, I think the Seahawks kind of uh, kind of hit their peak, and they're kind of cruising right now. I don't know if they got another level they can get to because you know the Raiders just beat them. But uh, even though it's at uh, Las Vegas, I think the Chargers got them, and the Broncos lose at Carolina and I think like I said I think they're losing at Baltimore they're just I think Russell Wilson has about seven passing touchdowns this year and 
their defense is a top 10 defense all day, it looks like, but they just can't play as a top. I mean, you can't win the game. You got to have something going offensively, and they've dealt with injuries. But they, even if you have a good defense, you can't win if you don't score any points. Um, and the thing about it is, I think they, there was a stat, like if they would have scored 18 points in regulation every single game this year, just 18, they'd be 9-2 right now. That's what's sad. And I was just like, that's incredible. You'd think for a Russell, Russell Wilson-led team. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Colts, or let's see. Yeah, the Colts with the AFC South. The Colts lose the Pittsburgh, and everybody's grilling Jeff Saturday on how the end of that game went wasn't calling timeouts and whatnot. And uh, that ended up, you know, they rushed a little bit on that third down play. Steelers got to uh, stop them. And then, uh, you know, it just kind of went downhill from there. They had to, they had to force a fourth down. And uh, I think it's going to be rough because they got to play at Dallas as a team that's doing really well right now, trying to fight for the one seed in the division and the NFC. So I think the Colts lose that game. Tennessee, uh, this is going to be kind of uh, rough uh, for them because they're, I mean, they are they pretty much got their division locked down, so them losing at Philadelphia isn't going to change much, but I think they lose. It's more just a confidence thing. Like, they can't win. You can't lose two games in a row. Uh, you won't, I think Tennessee will end up with like 10-11 wins, probably, I would imagine. Um. The Texans lost to Miami, and like I said, they're going to beat. I just think they beat Deshaun Watson and the Browns. I just I think feel like that's how it's going to go. Uh, Jacksonville, like I said, got the upset win over the Ravens, and they're playing at the Lions. This was a game that's a toss up for me because I think the Lions and the Jaguars both show good things at points, and then at times they just don't. They can't play football at sometimes. Uh, and so I got it going to uh, Detroit just because it's in Detroit, really. Um, and then you know Detroit had like a three-game winning streak, like uh, two weeks ago ended or last week it got ended by the Bills. Um, but yeah, I think that's I, I'm thinking Jacksonville loses. Buffalo really needs to. Or they've already won, so they won Thursday night. That obviously I didn't make this video before Thursday. I just went with what I had, and so that's a huge win for them. Uh, the Dolphins, if they win, they keep pace with the Bills, and they're the one C or the one a team in the AFC East. Um, I think they lose at San Francisco. They're undefeated when Tua plays, but San Francisco's at the number one defense, and it's pretty it, – the real issue with them is how their offense plays against the Dolphins. But I just – I think there's just a, so much on the 49ers defense that it's going to be kind of tough. And But, you know, Miami could pull it out just because they need it to be the one seed in their division. Um, But it's in San Francisco. So I give the edge to the 49ers. The Jets, this is another t game that I've really considered changing. Uh, because obviously at the beginning of the year when I originally picked this game, I did not think the Jets were going to win but like one game all year. And so obviously I had them losing to Minnesota. and But now, if you look at Minnesota, the one thing they're trying to do is get the one seed in the NFC right now. Because I think they pretty much, you know, if you look at their division as a whole, they win 11 games, they win the division. So they, they literally, in week, what is it now? This would be week 13. So week 14, 15, they could clinch the division, and it wouldn't even matter. And honestly, the way it looks now, if Detroit ends up, if they ended up losing to Jacksonville and the Vikings win, they're clinched the NFC North anyway because it wouldn't be possible for any of the other teams to get the 10 wins. So it's really Minnesota. Minnesota at this point is playing for the one seed. And since there's only one bye, I think they're going to come out and give it to the Jets. The Jets could easily win this game. They might, but I just think Minnesota wins, and it's at Minnesota too. The Packers are 4-8 right now. Aaron Rodgers um, is not – it doesn't look like he's going to end up playing maybe – 
but I think they're going to go with Jordan Love. Uh, the Packers season's essentially over. Like I said, the Vikings are going to have to literally... If the Vikings win one more game, the, the Packers are eliminated, essentially. Because the only way a lot of these teams are getting in is winning their own division. And um, if the Packers lose one more game or the Vikings win one more game, the Packers are done. They're the Bears are already eliminated. They're, there's no possible way they can make it. Um, well, I guess there's not. I wouldn't say there's no possible way. I guess in theory, if everybody lost, they won, they get a wild card, but I think they're out. Uh, but the Packers and Bears game, I think I think even with the Packers being injured and being down this year, I, and Justin Fields, I think, is questionable. I think he's kind of been dealing with some soreness. I think the Packers win. Um, the Vikings obviously beat the Patriots uh, last week, and I think they beat the Jets. Like I said, they're competing for the one seed at this point, and they don't have – obviously the Eagles have the tiebreaker over them. So they really they're gonna have to win essentially out. I mean the Eagles if the Eagles dropped like one or two more games it gives them a door like an opening because the rest of their division is really not that great. And it looks like the Vikings have played the Packers once, the Lions once, the Bears once, and that's it. So they got to play everybody again. So that could be three games that they potentially could win anyway, just because they're way better than everybody else in the division. I think they beat the Jets. Um, the Bears, like I said, I think they lose to the Packers. Um, but really what it is kind of for the Bears is they're just kind of seeing what... I don't know. I would like to see Justin Fields aired out um, because you know he's running the ball at a historical pace right now. I think he's like fifth in the league in rushing yards. And he's almost near 1,000. He's getting close to it. But it's going to, like, if he just starts airing it out, just to give an idea, just kind of see, like, what, you know, what they maybe got. Uh, maybe try and get, like, Claypool involved since they traded for him. Um, I don't know, but the go down the lines, and like I said, the Jacksonville game's a toss-up. But it's in Detroit, so I give it to them. The NFC, or the NFC, the NFC West, if you look at the Rams, uh, I, I got them changed. I changed the game to losing at Seattle, or losing at home versus Seattle. Rams just lost it. I, Matthew Stafford's not playing. Um, it looks like the Rams are going to have to either break up their entire franchise or just kind of cruise through the rest of this year, try and re reload, and then if they start off poorly next year, just probably get probably restructure and start over. Arizona's going into a bye week. Uh, you know, they're four and eight. A little bit worse, definitely a little bit worse than I originally thought. Mainly because I thought they were going to win a bunch of games earlier in the year. Or not a bunch, but more than they did. And because they usually have a backslide about this time of year at the tail end. It just seems like that's what Cl what's been happening with Cliff Kingsbury and what's happened to the Cardinals the past, you know, a few years. Because it wasn't too long ago. It was, I mean... Uh, last year, the year before, they were like seven, seven and zero. Oh. I think it was last year, and they lost to the Packers or something like that. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what's going on with the Cardinals. There, there's been debates about if Kyler will go before Kingsbury or what will happen. How uh, the Forty ers win against the Saints, and it was a, uh, re it was really a good statement game for the Forty ers saying, "Hey, we are for real. We're back." Um, I got them beating the like I said. I got them beating the Dolphins in a game that I think they could. I mean, they got weapons now. When they picked up McCaffrey, you got Debo Samuel. You just got you know Justice has the fullbacks really good. Kittle. I mean, they they they're loaded. Jimmy G just does what he does best and wins in the regular season. Uh, they'll they'll get to the promised land. It'll just be a matter of what they can do in the playoffs. And their defense is seems like a little bit better than it's been in years past, even though it's been really good. And so that may get them over the hump, even with the offense, maybe not at the level it needs to be. So it'll be interesting to see. Seattle, uh, like I said, they're going to beat the Rams, I think. Realistically, Seattle is fighting for that last wild card spot with the NFC East, it looks like. Um, Because it looks like the, the NFC East, if the commanders play like they've been and they just start swapping wins in the division, they could easily all make it. 
Um, so Seattle's just is Seattle needs to hit that eleven win mark. If they can hit that, they'll be they'll be close. I don't know if they'll get it because you know it'll be seven and five after this week, I think. But they'll be close. Carolina's on a bye. They just beat the Broncos last week, and it was a pretty really good showing for the Panthers. It'll just be interesting to see what they do going forward at quarterback, as it's that's been the the discussion for the entire year. Uh, the Saints. I, this is a game I thought about changing to. The Saints at Tampa Bay. Um, I don't know. I really do not. I'm not sure what you're going to get from Tom Brady. I'm not sure what you're going to get from the Bucks. I, I I'm sure they'll find a way to end up winning the division, but I honestly I think uh, New Orleans could win this game. As uh, as weird. As weird as it sounds, or as hard as it, I mean, it just feels like the Saints are due for a win. I, I, I still might change it. I, I really don't know. I mean, it's in Tampa Bay and the Bucks need the game. I think I'm going to change it. Actually, It'll be a live change. As long as I don't hit add or whatever, we'll do a live change right here. I usually do this before, but. Uh, then I go down here and put them to five and twelve essentially. And then I'll move the bucks to a dub. I think I was thinking about doing that one, but I'm not I'm just not a hundred percent on changing any of the bucks. I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough ride, but you know, the Bucks could win eight games in and so they should win this one. They should still go back uh, even. Um, they just lost to Cleveland, and that's part of the reason I thought they might lose to the Saints. But we'll give it to Tampa Bay. Atlanta just lost to the Commanders. I think they lose to the Steelers. I think they're slowing down. They they had some real promise earlier in the year. I mean, yeah, they lost to the Saints. Yeah, they lost to the Rams. Then you beat the Seahawks, and you beat the Browns, and then... You know, you know, you, the game against 49ers was the huge one. I mean, that's when everybody is like, okay, this is kind of crazy. Uh, regardless of what was going on on the 49ers side, they have a better roster. Um, but I think they lose the Steelers. I think TJ Watt come. I mean, the Steelers are three and one with TJ Watt on the roster, and that's why I said week one when he went down, I was like, well, this screwed us because I think if TJ Watt plays the whole season, the Steelers are not four and seven. I would imagine they're probably six and five or five and six. I mean, they win at least another game out of it. Big Ten Championships on right now. That's going to be another interesting thing what they what the college committee ends up doing because Georgia just won. They're going to be the one seed. I mean, they beat LSU by like twenty. If Michigan wins this game, they'll be the two seed. Who knows who's the three and four? I guess Ohio State and whoever else they decide to throw in. But going back to the NFL, the Eagles, I think they win against the Titans. The Eagles are just the best overall team in the league. They're playing like the best overall team in the league, you know. The only thing that they that Tennessee really could do is just, you know, Derrick Henry run the ball right up the middle and break a few runs, and maybe the Eagles don't score offensively. That's the only thing I really think t uh, Tennessee could do to them. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, Dallas, I think they win against the – Colts, I think Dallas is on a roll too, and they're trying to win their own division. Um, because in theory they're still in the running for the one seed in the NFC. I mean, I think it's really you look at the top three, and it's Philadelphia, Minnesota, Dallas, and they beat Minnesota. So you're looking at they have the tiebreaker over them as well. So they win this week. Minnesota loses, they're the two seed in the NFC. And they're behind Philadelphia, which they will play again. They already lost to them once, but they will play them again. And, uh, yeah, so I think the Commanders, this is another tough game for me, picking at the Giants and saying that they're going to win, but I think the Commanders just have a lot of momentum right now. That, now, it's, it's Houston and Atlanta, it's not the Giants, and the Giants have been on kind of a little bit of a rut. I mean, they've just been playing rough the past few weeks. And uh, so I'm going to go with, I'm probably going to go with the Commanders even then. 
I still think the Giants, even at seven and five, if they do end up losing, still could easily make the make the uh, playoffs. I just really don't understand what's going on with this the NFL this year. Um, there's been so many teams that there's been so many teams that have done. There's teams that have done what they what we thought, which is teams like Kansas City, Buffalo. Um, you know, even the Ravens being at seven four and the Bengals at seven four, it's kind of like what I expected out of those. Um, didn't know if Philadelphia was going to be as good. I thought I thought the Cowboys would be about where they're at. Maybe not. Uh, on the trajectory to win twelve games, but maybe like ten eleven. So they're right around there. But then you got the teams like that you that are are shockers for being bad, and it's like well. Pittsburgh, I didn't think they'd be four and seven bad. I mean, uh, Cleveland, you kind of thought, well, or it is the Browns, but they still could turn it around. Uh, the Chargers are a little bit paying a little bit less than I thought they would. The Broncos are not at all. I thought the Broncos would be a seven and ten, eight and nine team. They're gonna be. They're they're rough. It's bad for them. The Colts are under uh, underwhelm me too. The Titans are doing about what I thought. Um. <laughs> The Jets and Dolphins are definitely two teams that I was like, okay, these these are legit teams. Patriots are doing a little bit better, and I probably thought Vikings are absolutely doing better. The Packers are doing well worse. What I thought, I thought the Packers. I think at the beginning of the year, I thought the Packers would be fifteen and two. Like that's that's where I thought they were going to be at. The Rams definitely underperformed. Forty Nine ers about where I thought Seattle's overperformed. Um, Bucks have been under, and then I'd say the whole NFC East has has overplayed what I thought, other than the Cowboys. But yeah, what a NFL season so far.